Hello, my name is Mara and welcome to Books Like Whoa. Okay guys, it is the day after I got back from Booknet Fest. All the festing is now over, sadly. Uh, I had an amazing time and I've been vlogging, so I'm gonna shoot you over to the vlog and then I will meet you back here to do a little reflection and wrap up and some shout outs of people that I discovered, people I had great interactions with, etc. So I will meet you back here in a while because I'm assuming that there's a lot of footage. Okay, thanks, bye. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, so I decided to go ahead and get started with this because I went and got my dress for prom night today. And then later today, I am joining the live show with Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. And uh, I don't really know how that's gonna go. I'm gonna do some stuff around the house. I am trying to get ahead in my videos in anticipation for being gone for BookNet Fest, and then I have somebody coming here, so that's going to take some of my time, and then I've got like a work trip, so uh, I'm trying to get a little ahead today, so I'm going to be doing a bunch of editing, so wish me luck there. Hey guys, checking in with you guys about a week before BookNet Fest. Uh, I'm looking smudgy because I just had a massage. Um, yeah, so we're about a week out. Uh, yeah, I had a massage because today is the anniversary of my father's passing, and so yeah, I, I've had a good... I think a good day. I had my best friend come last night and we had a sleepover and cried and it was good. And then I worked this morning. She and I went to lunch and I went and got a massage, about to eat some fajitas. And then I'm gonna start um, doing some final vid video editing so that I will have videos up for you guys while I'm out. But it's actually making me really thankful today for the timing of BookNet Fest because I kind of gave myself through this weekend, which is Labor Day weekend, to kind of mope a little bit or be a little bit sad um, and then try to kind of pivot and kind of, I, I think sometimes part of, you know, working through grief and working through sadness, keeping yourself, keeping busy, whatever. Um, and I think that Bookmap Fest will be a good sort of like thing to rally my spirit. So I'm gonna get working on editing so that you guys have videos while I'm gone. And uh, what else has happened with Bookmap Fest? Well, I'm a little worried that there's gonna be a hurricane um, I think the timing of this is going to be fine from what I can tell, but hurricanes are always unpredictable. So if for some reason it just like barrels straight towards Orlando and causes a lot of damage, that could be a problem, but hopefully not. Um, last week, when you guys last saw me, I was about to do the live show. That was really fun. I was a little bit nervous for it, but I felt like it went well and I had a good time. And yeah, it was just good to help me get excited for the fest. So... Uh, I'll touch base with you guys later, but right now, a week out, I'm feeling pumped, getting excited, uh, and thankful for it as something sort of like upbeat to look forward to. Okay, update is that uh, I ordered a couple of books for Bethany and Leanna for when I see them. I figured I'm going to see them in person so I can bring them some in-person book mail. I guess that's just a gift. Uh, I got this for Bethany, Neanderthal Seeks Human by Penny Reed because I actually think she would really like Penny Reed. Um, and I think in particular, this is one that might work really well for her because, you know, it's kind of a geeky heroine and yeah, I just, I think she'll, she'll be into this. Also, I love these new covers on Penny Reed's books. And then I got Sleeping Murder for Leanna because she sent me a straight out of St. Mary Mead mug for my birthday. So I thought I would repay her with some marble. And this is my favorite one from the reread I just did. I don't think she's read this one yet. So I thought that might be appropriate. And then I also picked out, I guess I can show you. I picked out the book I'm going to take for the book swap, which is 1222 by Ann Holt, because this is one I did not like, but it's totally one that I can see other people liking, so I want to give it a new mysterious home. Hey guys, it's the day. It's the big day we've been waiting for. Oh god, my hair looks awful. Of course. Um, it's going to look even better after I'm on the plane. So, I am on my way to the airport. Wish me luck. I made it. I'm sorry. I meant to get some footage of all the beautiful palm trees, but I was in a little bit of a rush because I need to get my ass over to uh, the welcome dinner for the people who are speaking. And uh, yeah, I thought I was going to have plenty of time. I was like, oh, my flight lands at five and the dinner's not till seven. Like I'll have plenty of time. I'll go, I'll get ready. I'll go to the grocery store real quick. No, I'm going to get ready very quickly because I'm a sweaty mess. And uh, then I guess I'll go to the grocery store afterwards. But smooth flight smooth everything and a super nice room maybe i'll show you guys later but it's like a suite it truly is a suite so anyway i'm gonna try to make myself look 
vaguely non-plane-like and presentable. Just a little black top, jeans, keeping it simple. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go have some food. I think we're going to a Wolfgang, so should be pretty good. Probably we'll get a steak. We're not in Kansas anymore, guys. I mean, I wasn't in Kansas, I was in Tennessee. We are definitely in Florida, how about that? Uh, creator Center, which was really nice. It was nice to kind of meet everyone in person. It is weird seeing people IRL who I know from the internet. Just like I'm used to hearing their voice on my computer screen and then I saw them like in 3D. It was very exciting. So now I'm gonna go make an emergency LaCroix run and I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, I'm going to the meet and greet. This is my outfit of the day. So yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully somebody will talk to me and I won't just stand there awkwardly by myself. Here's the pool that I will not be getting in because I don't currently own a swimsuit and also I would burn. But it's beautiful. It's a nice place. It's official. I'm in. Okay, so we just finished the meet and greet and they gave the creators a super cute cookie. Look how cute that shit is. And then I met Bethany. In real life, this is the first time we've ever met, and she gave me this beautiful bookmark that she had made, and then also I have a little pop. But anyway, things are going well so far, guys. Okay, I'm putting my stuff out on the Good. table. Look at this entire table of awesome merch. This is such a full room, I want to cry. So I'm a little like, mm -hmm. but I just want to thank all of you for attending, obviously. <laughs> this is the That's one. good to know. No, it's uh, my most hated phrase in YA. <laughs> it's it's old and yeah. <laughs> We had meet and greet, all that good stuff. I am gonna run out to Panera and get myself a Cobb salad, PTO for Panera, for people with keto, need something uh, easy that's readily accessible here in the US. So I'm gonna do that and then I will come back and start going to some panels. Well, welcome to Reading in the Year of Our Lord 2019. And I've actually had a couple questions about this. Is this like about the Old Testament? We're like, no. <laughs> no, it's not, we're on the scene. trying to learn to be clear with communication and uh, convey my ideas, you know. I'm mostly a YA fantasy writer and all of a sudden we're going to direct query finally. <laughs> and yeah. I hope I don't say anything that um, she shouldn't know. But um, I'm also, secrets. <laughs> also a book programmer on the side at Life and Fiction. I almost caught Bethany simultaneously vlogging. Okay, back from dinner, going to Bookish Trivia Night. I am in my pajamas. Uh, this is actually not my pajama top, but it's, you know, my pajama top is not out of the room appropriate. So t-shirt and pajama bottoms. Uh, so wish me luck. I will say the competition brings out a very ugly side in me. So I'm gonna try not to, you know, alienate anyone in the process of uh, partaking of the trivia. So wish me luck. Okay, some random swag on my sink. <laughs> Sorry, not a very pretty setup, but this amazing booktube pen was made by Kate at chapter CVIII or chapter 108. I'm not sure how she says that, but I thought this was so cute. She was handing these out and I absolutely love this. So I got that. I think I already showed you guys the amazing cookie that Sam and Mari had made for uh, the speakers, which I thought was just too cute. And then I got an ARC of the Stars We Steal by Alexa Dunn. And I really enjoyed her on the panel, um, the AuthorTube panel that I went to. I thought she did a great job. And yeah, she just, I'm gonna check her channel out now because I thought she seemed super rad. And then she pitched this as Jane Austen in space with The Bachelor. And I read the back of this and I was like, fuck yeah, that sounds awesome. So I'm really excited to read this. This is coming out, I think in February, 2020. So a couple, I also got some bookmarks and stuff, which I guess I'll show you guys later. But for now, 
the most exciting swag so far has been these three things. Okay guys, I just won with my team. Oh yeah. Book trivia, we crushed it. This was iron sharpens iron. We all had each other's like strengths and weaknesses balanced. This was very exciting. Okay, so my attempt to get coffee was hashtag fail because the first Starbucks I went to is under renovation and the second one uh, was like inside of a hotel and I didn't have time to go get some. So I'm gonna have to have crappy hotel coffee again this morning. There are worse problems to have. Uh, but you know what? I got to belt out some Lizzo. So I know she believes in me. So if she if she can believe in me, I can believe in myself. And that's just a fact. <laughs> Moderator page. We're going to crush it. We're about to talk about consumerism. By the way, we just spent a lot of time talking about consumerism in the yes. spoilers. Okay. So. Why did you come? Okay guys, I just spent a couple hours getting uh, tipsy and pre-gaming for prom with, let's see here, Bethany, Leanna Derby from Derby Lane Reads, Jashana C, and uh, Jade from the Bedtime Bookworm. We had a great time. Came back to my room to get ready real quick. Let's go party. Note my very red look. Admire Derby's beautiful sparkles. I could never do this in a million years. Jade is beautiful. Okay. Okay, guys, back from prom. Um, I didn't stay all that long, but I stayed like an hour and a half. I feel like that's pretty good. I was just tired. I need, if you can't tell, I still need to pack uh, because we are going to Harry Potter World first thing in the morning. So I need to check out and then um, I'm gonna go from Harry Potter World basically straight to the airport. Um, so that will be a lovely adventure. I need to figure out the logistics because I don't want to get on the plane totally sweaty. So we'll see. We'll see when I work out there. Um, it was a really good day. So um, I started this morning doing the panels, which, you know, I wouldn't say I was nervous for, but I definitely was, you know, like, that was the big thing I came here to do. So I did that. Um, I felt like they went really well. Yeah, like I felt like they went well. Uh, I particularly enjoyed the one on consumerism. Like I think I had a really good discussion with Lizelle and Paige. I don't know, I just felt like that was a really, I, I just, it was one of my favorite conversations I've had on the bookish internet ever. So that was really good. Um, but I also got good feedback about the spoiler one. Um, though I think it was kind of funny that none of us on the panel were very uh, spoiler sensitive. So I'm not sure that was very representative. Um, and then the classics one I felt like also went well. So yeah, I, I definitely feel like what I came to do, I did well. Um, and yeah, just getting to connect with people in person was really cool. I think, yeah, it was feeling more and more natural kind of the longer I was here. Um, I had such a good time this evening before prom. I went and kind of like pre-gamed and, and we all got ready together with um, Bethany and Leanna and Derby from Derby Lane Reads and Jashana and uh, Jade from uh, Bed Bedtime Bookworm. So yeah, that was just really fun. Those ladies uh, were kind of the people I was spending a lot of my time with over the weekend so that was really fun and uh yeah I don't know I'm really tired now so I feel like I need to just kind of focus on calming down and trying to get a good night's rest so that I can fully enjoy ye old Harry Potter world tomorrow so yeah I feel like that's probably a pretty good place to leave you I'm gonna go wash my face off I can tell I'm a shiny mess and uh yeah try to get a good night's sleep so catch you later Oh, and sorry, I meant to tell you guys about the new books that came into my collection today. So um, there was the book swap and I swapped 1222, which I did not like, for this ARC 
of the first uh, Raven Boys book uh, in the Raven Cycle. So I just got this because like I have never read this and thought that I would like to read it and then when I got it people were like oh, it's an arc that's so whatever so anyway um yeah so I've always wanted to give this a try so now I have a copy to do that and then I low-key slash high-key shamed Bethany into bringing this for me to read <laughs> which is uh, an arc of the escape room uh which oh, okay it's already on sale so you can get it now and this is like a murder mystery set in an escape room which sounded rad to me so two new books today plus I got an arc of The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dunn yesterday. So in total, three. Okay, it's the next day. I'm with these two bitches. Woohoo! Woo We're going to Harry Potter World. Two Gryffindors, one Slytherin, Thunderdome. Gryffindor's Who will survive? <laughs> so here we are in Voodoo Donuts. I'm smelling how delicious they are. Looking at everything I can't have. Well, and the thing is, too, is they're like, all of the actors are play, play two different characters. Well, what is the night bus doing out here in the middle of the street? Look at the dragon! We must be in Deathly Hallows. I was telling I um, see wizarding Bethany wizards. that there, the dragon makes noises before it's gonna... We're in green guts! I told you it was cold in here though. It feels fantastic in here. Oh my gosh guys, it is not even 10 o'clock and we are sweating like a mother. But look how cool this is! So I did the London experience a few years ago, and I have to say, I mean, I'm sure they've built it out since then, but like this is way more detailed. We're in the wand shop. Now I've already received my wand sorting from Pottermore, so. Okay, so we're leaving diagonal, diagonality, I can't talk, diagon alley, diagonally, uh, and we're gonna go to Hogsmeade to do a couple of the other rides, and we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna like, I don't know, shop probably, because there's a ton of awesome merch. I'm gonna spend more than I should. the cognitive dissonance I'm having right now because it is legit 95 degrees full humidity but there's fake snow. There she be, the castle. Okay, so we just rode the Forbidden Journey ride twice because there was zero line. We had a great time. It turns out Leanna screams like a little girl anytime there's a Dementor in her atmosphere, though I have to say, I feel like that's a pretty rational response to seeing a Dementor, so, you know, maybe yeah. that just proves- But you were like, I can see how that would be scary to a little kid. <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> Leanna's a grown-ass woman, and <laughs> and she has the same reaction as, like, as small children. Me, meanwhile, scary. I'm like, you know how they could make this scarier? Yeah, it does <laughs> not mean to be scarier. So we had a great time, and I'm glad that we got to do that twice, because that was definitely my preferred yeah. ride. Um, I think Bethany and Leanna are probably going to come back and ride the Hagrid one once I leave because I have to leave to go to the airport before they do. Um, so I think they'll enjoy that. I'm not that fussed about that one, so it's all good. We're going to go have lunch and then uh, do some shopping because I don't know who I was kidding when I thought I wasn't going to buy shit. Okay, we're here in the Leaky Cauldron, 
and uh, there wasn't a lot that was keto friendly. So, and you can hear Bethany and Leanne over there. I got scotch eggs, so there's definitely some carbs happening here, but that was about as good as I was gonna do in an English pub. But look how pretty. Okay, we're back in Diagon Alley. And uh, I am gonna look for a Christmas ornament, I think. And I don't know, maybe a sweater or something. Okay, so I just left them. I got a couple of ornaments um, that I'm gonna put on my tree. So that'll, I think that's a perfect souvenir. Sad saying goodbye. It's so weird, cause I, you know, Leanna and Bethany are people I talk to constantly. Like there's some of the people I talk to the most on a day-to-day -day basis. This is the first time we'd ever actually met. I don't know. It was just a, it was fun to see them in person. And I don't know, I think it just helps sort of cement that connection, but. Goodbye. Goodbye, Wizarding World. Goodbye, guys. Okay, I'll catch you at the airport. Okay, I made it to the airport only to realize that I thought my fl flight was at five, but it was at six. So I could have stayed for a full extra hour at Harry Potter World, um, and I would have enjoyed that. But you know what? I'm a human, and I made a mistake, and I'd rather make the mistake in this direction than the other direction. So, you know, live and learn. Um, creepy thing is that Sephora app just asked me if I needed to replace anything that got confiscated by TSA so they know I'm at the airport. I don't love that. Okay, so uh, I'm listening to Dying of Whiteness right now as my audiobook. So I'm gonna let my phone charge up a little bit and then I think I'm gonna keep listening to that. It's very depressing but really, really good. And yeah, it'll be nice to sit, I think, and have some uh, quiet time after a busy day. Oh, it's been a really good weekend. I think this was... Yeah, it was, this was a well-timed weekend for me in terms of, you know, overall life cadence for my soul, I think. So anyway, I hope y'all are doing good, and I will catch you later. Okay, we're back in the car. Let's go home. Very good flight, very smooth. Not a lot of turbulence. Nobody sitting next to me in the middle seat. It was all good. Okay, so uh, it is Monday and I just had my full day back at work and it was a lot, but I survived with my brain mostly intact and uh, I managed to put most of the critical things I needed to do off till tomorrow so that I will be a little bit more coherent. Um, yeah, so my current reflections on BookNet Fest, and maybe I'll, I'll revisit this at the end of the month or something, but like, I feel like this was a really significant weekend for me. Like I just really, I don't even, I'm just still trying to find the right words for it, but of course the connections with people that I've known and been talking with for a long time were really significant. I mean, I think you probably gathered that. Like I, I loved meeting people that I talked to all the time online in person for the first time. Like that was really overwhelming, honestly. And I think I'm still kind of processing that, but also really amazing. Um, I loved meeting new people and connecting with people who like, I you know, maybe they don't know that I follow them, but I do, things like that. Um, and, you know, I'll get into some of those names here in a minute and, and kind of end with that. But I think it was really significant for me to have a weekend really getting that what I do here with you guys here in my office right now at the end of the day on a Monday, that you guys like see it and you know, I'm not saying I'm changing lives, but like I'm a part of some people's daily routine in the way that other people are part of mine. But I think that it's so easy to kind of feel like you're shouting into the void <laughs> here on YouTube. And it's kind of hard sometimes I think to remember um, that, you know, people do watch me and people do care about what I create. And I don't know, I mean, it's a good and a bad thing. Like it, it really makes me feel like emotional, like I'm trying not to be emotional right now <laughs> about the fact that I like just, this was a very validating weekend of like the effort and care I put into things matters, <laughs> like um, at least on some small scale. But it's also, I think, been like a, a re-reminder to me that like I do, you know, at least for our community, I do have a decent sized platform at this point and, you know, more of you guys seem to be coming in from somewhere. So like, I, I think I also just, I'm feeling more, heavily the uh, responsibility of being a good curator of that platform while I'm lucky enough to have it. And, you know, I don't take it for granted, but I think my 
thoughts about what all that means definitely expanded this weekend. And it also just like the refreshing aspect of being able to like kvetch with people <laughs> about petty things that I would never make a video about. I would never want to comment on publicly, but just with other creators who like have similar struggles or whatever, like similar issues, however you want to say that, you know, it's nice to have almost sort of like the equivalent of sort of like break room talk at work, like where you're like, oh, fuck Susan, like, God, she just can't with this or whatever. And not not just bitching about things like individual people, but just generally like, oh my gosh, like I'm trying to get better at this, but it's so hard. Or like, have you figured out how to make this work? Like just little things like that, that it's very, it's not easy to just have that casually with other people who booktube or other YouTube creators. It's just really nice to have sort of like an, a relaxed environment to do that in. Um, so that was just really refreshing. This weekend just was like really... Like, it was so fun. I had a great time in terms of just enjoyment, but it was also like really meaningful to me. And again, like I'm sitting here trying not to cry, which is not that much of an accomplishment. You guys know I'm a cancer and I am a crier. Um, good Lord, who is like, is somebody breaking into my car? I'll be right back. I don't know if you can hear all these doors slamming, but I feel like someone might be breaking into my car. Okay, no, my neighbor is just loading up their car with something. Um, and also I feel really bad. I'm parked in the middle of our shared driveway because there's a dead tree that's gonna come down here in the next couple of days, but I'm trying not to park directly under it. So I'm taking up more than my fair share of the driveway right now. Anyway, they're super nice. I'm, I have awesome neighbors on both sides. I'm very lucky. So anyway, side note, um, before, that saved me from crying, hopefully on camera, but I just will say, such a huge thanks to everybody who went, even if I don't mention them by name, like just everyone who made this experience awesome, like the volunteers, Mari and Sam for sure, and Nicole, and I mean, just everybody who made this happen. Thank you, thank you to everybody who came, who made it what it was. Thank you to the other panelists, like just everything. I'm so thankful because this was a really meaningful weekend that I need to spend some time like journaling about. With that being said, I'm gonna transition and I kind of want to wrap up with like, just people I spent time with that I want to shout out. And I'm so, you know, it's been a long time since I've done a shout out Sunday and I definitely need to do that again because I enjoy it and, you know, life happens and I don't make it a priority and I should. Um, but anyway, I just want to mention, I have like kind of several groups of people. And actually in making this, it made me go back and be like, I am subscribed to them, right? Like on my Books Like Woe account because I have a private account that I watch BookTube on as well. And I'm like, oh, I'm not public publicly subscribe to all these people. So I think by the time this is going up, I have fixed that. But so shout out first to the people who I hung out with the most. Of course, that's Leanna and Bethany. You've seen quite a bit of them in this blog. They are two of my very closest friends here on booktube and seeing them in person has just like, it was just a blessing. I just loved getting to hug them in real life and just you know, shoot the shit, like not, you know, have it just be even more casual. So that was a, amazing. Um, shout out to Derby from Derby Lane Reads. So she's been sort of a friend of a friend through Leanna and Bethany, and I hadn't really, you know, met her or gotten to interact with her. And she's like, so sassy. We have very similar educational backgrounds. And she is like a woman about her shit and who also looked like a goddamn fairy on prom night. She was killing it. So it was really fun meeting her and getting to hang out with her. And then the three J's. So I also spent some time with Jocelyn from Yogi with a Book, who was also a panelist and did a great job. Um, and then I spent a lot of time with Jade from Bedtime Bookworm and Jashana from Jashana. Is it Jashana Writes? I can, I never remember. I always think of her as Jashana. Um, but I'll have all their information linked below. But um, I just had such a great time hanging out with um, all of those ladies. They made the weekend really fun. Um, so thank you to them for keeping, you know, being my friend and, like, and having fun with me this weekend and, you know, dinners and lunches and all that kind of stuff. The second group is, again, just a huge thank you and shout out to Mari and Sam and then also Nicole uh, Sweeney because they did so much work at organizing everything. You know, I like, I definitely watch Mari and Sam, like they're two very good sized booktubers here and well known in the community. And you just never know what that's going to be like in person. And like, I am like, I got to have dinner with them um, on the night that I arrived because where I was sitting at dinner and they are as nice, laid back, cool as you would expect them to be. They did an awesome job. You know, this event is already in its third year. It's already and only in its third year. And I think that they should be so proud of like where it is and kind of like what they're doing and all of that. So, you know, if you're ever wondering if they're as awesome in person as they are on the internet, I can say yes, 
On a similar note, I wanted to specifically shout out Haley from Haley in Bookland. Is that what her channel name is? You know Haley, Haley LeBlanc. She's one of the big ones. And also Zoe from, I believe, is it again, Read with Zoe, Read by Zoe? I never can remember people's exact titles. But two very big booktubers who pinch hit on two of the panels I was on. So they were not scheduled to speak at all. And they were willing to step in just because of some last minute cancellations because of travel and other, you know, life things. And I just wanted to mention I know that's like, I just want to dip in this and dip right on back out. I know sometimes there's some drama about clickiness or whatever from bigger booktubers or whatever. Zoe and Haley could not have been nicer to me. We had perfectly pleasant chit chat before and after our panels. They did a great job. They were super nice, very gracious and very nice of them to just, you know, pinch hit. Okay, my next category is my biggest like, good job me for being brave and then my biggest regret for not strapping on a pair because like I'm very outgoing I really like people but I get overwhelmed at these events just the way that everybody does right like it's a lot of people it's a lot of strangers it's a lot of people who have maybe perceptions about you that you aren't totally sure what that is and like it's just you know it takes some getting used to so my congratulations to me for being brave is that I watch Adriana from Perpetual Pages and really I just always refer to them as Perpetual Pages. I watch Perpetual Pages all the time and actually that was one of the ones I realized I watch on my personal account on my Apple TV and haven't subscribed to publicly so I fixed that. They are fantastic. They, you know, they're on the um, Booktube SFF Awards. Like they're great. And I watch them and I just, I don't know, because they've been in the community for a really long time. I, I don't know, I was just sort of intimidated <laughs> to say hi to them. But we ended up being in the same little group during the meet and greet and they were so lovely, like, and I was brave and, and made friends with them a little bit. So that was my good job me for like, trusting myself to fangirl on somebody and not being awkward. The, the place where I could have done better is that I adore Connor from Connor O'Brien. I love his channel. He is one of my favorite booktubers. I think because he just, to me, radiates such an energy of just loving to read. Like when he talks about books, he is somebody who almost more effectively than anyone else on booktube, in my opinion, just communicates like, just that he loves reading. And like when he's excited about a book, I really feel it. He also just has like a really positive energy to him. I don't know, I love watching him, but he's like, again, he's a good sized booktuber and he's been around a long time. And I saw him and I wanted to say hi, but he was with friends and I was like, I'm, I'll do it later. And then I later never came and I was like, oh, that was my bad. And then I realized on the day that I left, that he had DM'd me and was like, hey, are you still at prom? And I was like, you know what? If I had just strapped on a pair and said hi to him, I would have gotten to meet him in person and tell him how much I love his channel. And I, I miss that opportunity. So I say that I give those examples as like, be brave when you're at events, like say hi to people because otherwise you might regret it. And that's what I'm, I'm you know, proud of myself on perpetual pages, sad at myself for not just going for it with Connor. So. Anyway, Connor, I'm sad I didn't get to meet you in person, but just know that I'm fangirling. I was fangirling over in the corner. You didn't know it, but I was. And then finally, um, I had five channels I wanted to shout out um, based on either being on a panel with them or watching them on a panel that like, I was just like, fuck yeah, I'm definitely gonna go check more of this person out. Um, people that I didn't necessarily know that much other than maybe just their names before going in, but just like really enjoyed listening to them talk um, on panels either with me or with someone else. So first of all, Deboki, and I'm gonna have all these people listed below. So first Deboki, uh, we were on the spoilers panel together. I really enjoyed what she had to say there. And then I also enjoyed what she had to say um, in the panel about authorial intent. She's just super well-spoken. Uh, so I'm excited to dive into her backlist a little bit. Najiri, um, I saw her on a panel about ratings and I really appreciated uh, what she was saying and her approach to sort of subjective book reviewing. And actually, while I kind of didn't really agree with some of the points she was making, she, you know, she just was making them really well and she was a really compelling speaker. So I'm definitely gonna check out more from her. Also, apparently her thing is like Afrofuturism, which I vaguely know is a thing, but would love to know more about. So I'm gonna go check her out. Um, Alexa Dunn, who is a very big uh, author tuber. Um, I went to the author tube panel, honestly, because like, you know, I write as a hobby, but more more than that, it was it was just sort of like, I don't really know much about author tube and I was interested to learn more. Um, and she just seems super fucking rad. Uh, so <laughs> I subscribed to her. I've already started watching some of her videos and I can definitely see why she's so popular. But um, anyway, I really enjoyed the panel she was on. She also is the author of, sorry, I've got my little, 
stack of books here that I'm going to put in to my computer here in a little bit. She's the author of The Stars We Steal. So I was so excited and very thankful that she gave me an arc that she described this as Jane Austen meets The Bachelor in space. And I was like, so let's do this. So um, I'm really excited for this. I don't think this comes out until next year. Yeah, it doesn't come out until February next year. But um, I appreciate her giving me an arc. And I'm really excited to check out more of her channel. And then finally, the two that I'm also very excited to check out um, are the two ladies that I did the consumerism panel with. And I have to tell you, aside from so in terms of the convention itself, this was my favorite moment. It is tied with going to Harry Potter World and pre-gaming before prom, that little group. Um, my other favorite moment was our discussion on consumerism and that entire panel with Lizelle and Paige. Again, I'll have all everybody's channels and information linked below. Um, but Lizelle and Paige, I just really enjoyed the conversation we had. Like it was probably my favorite one we, like I did. Um, I liked all my panels, don't get me wrong, but I just was really engaged because I come from such a different place than either of them do, but I, it was so interesting to me to talk with them and like have an open and nuanced conversation about consumerism in booktube and have us kind of be on somewhat opposite ends of the spectrum, but have a lot of the same kind of core principles about like why we do what we do. Um, and I just, I loved that it was a new like layered conversation. It was just really fun to talk to them about it. And yeah, I just, I really enjoyed that like that was my favorite moment as like a panelist or like a speaker at BookNet Fest. Um, and so it just made me super intrigued to see more from them. Also, they are both Canadians and you guys know that I fucking stay in Canada. So that's just an added bonus. But um, anyway, um, Lizelle is primarily an author tuber. So I'm excited. Again, I'm kind of intrigued by that entire genre of YouTube category that I wasn't previously aware of. Uh, so I'm going to check her out. And then Paige is a booktuber. Uh, but I think she's also maybe like she works in publishing. I think she's a marketing manager. So anyway, I am really excited to check them out as well. So those are the five people who I, I kind of got more a vibe off of them at BookNet Fest and I'm excited to, you know, read more from, read more from, what am I talking about? Watch more from. I think that this vlog is probably quite long enough at this point. Yeah, again, I just like a sincere thanks and I will not try, I'll try not to get too detailed because I do not want to cry, but sincere thanks to everybody who went and who made it possible for people to go. Yeah, it was just a really, really great weekend that like I needed. Like the timing of this was really, helpful for me in terms of just sort of coming off of the anniversary, like the year anniversary of my father's passing. And like, you know, part of what I'd kind of been talking to myself about was like, okay, you know, you have to get through that kind of milestone. And then it's time to really start like, it, you know, being actively pursuing getting back into things a little bit more. Um, and I feel like this was a really good sort of like, kick off into that. So it was just, it was just rad all around. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this long ass video. <laughs> Let me know if you were at BookNet Fest, what your favorite thing was, if you weren't, uh, if you've ever thought about going or what your favorite bookish event you've been to was and what made it great. Uh, leave that in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I guess that will do it. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social meds if you are so inclined. I have all of that information listed in the description box below along with as many people's contact info as I can get my hands on. I will I will do my best. I may miss somebody if I do, I apologize, but I'm gonna do my best to pack that description box with lots of people's information. And I think that that will do it. So I hope you guys are having an absolutely lovely day and I will just talk to you soon. Bye.